Hey YouTube. Yeah, today we're pretty busy in the fish room. Here's a quick update of what's going on. Yeah, so today we're gonna get some eggs or free swimming out of yellowtail AC, silosis, and yellow laps. Yep. And then we're going to also move some fish around. I'll show you. So a zebra oblique in here are starting to get a little bit big for this tank. That's a 25 gallon tank, this one. So we're going to move them in, uh, which tank do you want to move them in, Martin? Oh, they're 40 gallon yeah, there? Yeah, 40 gallon. Okay, because yeah, we sold lots of fish in there this week, so it's pretty much empty. There's just a few plecos in there. Yeah. Uh, another little update here. It looks messy right now, but it's because there's some kelp wafer in there, so it's actually food at the bottom. So uh, we actually breed pest snail, like ransom horn, and Milesian trumpet, trumpet snail, snail. Yep. for people that uh, need food for, for pea puffer. But we thought that we'd start a back at today, because uh, we also have some assassin snail, so, so we're gonna start one. breeding assassin snail. So eh? There's one here. There's a few in there, so you can see them at the corner here. Yeah, so we put a whole bunch of snails in there with food for them and then the assassin and yeah. snail. So hopefully they breed fast. They were breeding fast into my 90 gallon of the trophies upstairs. And then uh, we're supposed to have a pickup for those AC today, but uh, the sonosis today. But uh, it was a no show, but there's somebody else that's interested in this group. So hopefully this group goes, and then we can uh, we can move some of those babies around. So all those small babies in here, we have some zebra blicking in, and there the solosis yep, in there with some them. Losis, solosis. and then we have some yellow, uh, yellow tail ACI, I think with some solosis as well. And here we have some solosis and some white labs, as you can see. Okay, so those are going to move into the rack with the 25 and then the 220. Yeah. So yeah, so today we'll start, we have three fish to strip. Mm -hmm. uh, we have one... Uh, yellow tail AC. Yep. One yellow lab and a solosis. Alright, so yeah, we'll strip them and uh, we'll see what we get and you guys can come along for the ride. So here's the beautiful female yellowtail AC. You can see all her mouthful. She has lots of babies in there. She's yeah. been holding for probably a week and a half, almost two weeks. So she's probably about to spit. So I assume that those will be free swimming. Well, so, let's find out. Oh, that's a good batch, eh? Yeah. All right. And she was spitting on her own too. So those one. We're gonna transfer them in another bucket right now, but they'll go back into this bucket because there's lots of room for them to grow into the breeder box. That's those breeder box they hang on the side of the tank, yeah. so it'll be perfect for them to feed and grow in there until they're ready for a 10 gallon, and then they'll we'll move them to 20 gallon and then the 40 gallon after. Yeah, it also looks like there's one that's got an egg attached to it right there. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. So, yeah. Alright guys, so that's our other fish holding, a yellow lab. Now, when females are holding and they want to show that they're a bit more dominant, sometimes they'll show barring on the side. You can yeah. see that it's a and nice tough female yellow lab. And also this female yellow lab, um, she's had most of our beautiful babies in the past. So uh, yeah, you can see the nice black color on all of her fin there. So yeah, that's a nice, nice pure yellow lab, this one. Yes, yeah, so now we're gonna strip her. Uh, she's been holding for probably a week and a half, just like the hay see from the So we might video. get free swimming, we might not. Yeah, so. All of those babies, they have to go in a heck tumbler. They all have little heads on them. Oh, can you see this on camera? 
You all have little heads and little tail on them, so it won't take no too long. Probably a week in the tumbler and it'll be good to go. There you go, so for the yellow lab, uh, Martin just finished counting them and uh, counted 21 in here. So now that's the female solosis holding, and we're going to grab the fry. Look how bright and yellow she is. She is perfect. She's been giving us some of the most beautiful cirrhosis with the brightest color. We'll see how many eggs she's gonna give us. All right, so that's the cirrhosis. There's about 15 in here, they're all free swimming. There's a, there's a bonus catch of the day. Guess what those are. All right, so we're done collecting fish, so of the uh, free swimming ACI, Yellowtail ACI on this side from Luanga. We have on this side, it's the Pseudotrophus solosi, the solosi. And those are the yellow labs. And we still have those trophies. Oh, looks like we have to head just the the amount of tumbling that they're doing though. So that's the zebra oblicanum eggs, the little fry growing. Alright, so we're moving all of those fish here that are all about like uh, one and a half inch, I would say. One to one and a half. Yeah. And yeah. those all came from. Looking from that 20 gallon aquarium. Okay. And they're We're all going, going into, into this. Yeah, which is a 40 gallon. So a big right. upgrade. Yeah. Huge upgrade. Perfect. Yeah, it'll go faster. Yeah. And those are all already for sale too, because we start selling them at one inch, right? Yeah. That's good. Alright, so that 20 gallon tank is a little bit greenish, so we just uh, Added a few plecos in yeah. there. Move a couple of the baby plecos in there. From Move the tank up. above. Yeah. Well, hopefully you guys liked the video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. That's a fork went into it. <laughs>